In this video, we are going to install Augur CD on Kubernetes, which is running on Docker Desktop. I have Docker Desktop on my system, and this is what it looks like. If you do not have Docker Desktop, you can go to the Docker website and you can install Docker Desktop using one of the links here. All right, now let's get back to the terminal. And here, I already have installed kubectl on my system. So I'm going to use kubectl config use context docker desktop so that I'm at the right context. So I have switched to the correct context. Let me check the nodes. So there is one node as expected. Let's get into the Augur CD getting started guide. You can search for the getting started guide for Augur CD and you should be able to look at a page like this. We are going to copy these two commands first. This should help us creating a namespace by the name Augur CD and it should also install certain workloads for Augur CD. So I'm at the terminal and I'm going to paste. So the namespace and all the workloads have got created. We can check the namespace using kubectl get ns and we see that the Augur CD namespace exists and let's try to check the pods inside this Augur CD namespace. It would take some time for the pods to come to the running status. We may have to wait for some time. I can use the watch flag. Let's remove the watch flag now and see if all the pods are running. So only one is left. Yeah, now all the pods are running. Let's also check the services with kubectl get svc hyphen n Augur CD. We are interested in the Augur CD server service. So let's try to do a port forwarding for this service from the localhost mission to the service. So kubectl port forward svc slash Augur CD hyphen server. We need to call the namespace Augur CD. So I'd be using 8080 for the localhost and 4434 for the service. So if you see here, this one, there are two ports that the service is already exposing. One is 80 and 443. So I'm just exposing traffic from 8080 to 443. So let's hit enter. Now this means that if you access localhost colon 8080, you should be able to reach the Argo CD server on port 443. Let's try to check the secrets inside the Argo CD namespace. So there is a secret by the name Augur CD initial admin secret. So this is what we need to get the initial password that we can use to log in to the Argo CD server for the first time. So let's try to retrieve it. So first let's try to say kubectl get secret, the name of the secret, copy paste, and the namespace Argo CD, and output YAML to see what it has got. So it has got only one secret which is the password and this is what it is. So we just need to decode this from base64. So I'm going to say echo, copy paste the password, and now pipe base64 hyphen D for decoding, and let's give and let's give echo so there is a new line character. All right, so this is the password. Let's copy this. Now let's go back to the browser, open a new tab and enter localhost 8080. So this is asking for the username and password. The default username is going to be admin and the password is what we copied right now. So let's paste it here. Sign in. So I'm going to say never for this website. I think I, I, think I pasted the wrong one. So let me just go back. Uh, so copy this and paste it here, sign in. Yeah, now it's working. So this is how we have logged in to Augur CD. So we have logged into Augur CD using the initial password. We can now change that password. Let's get into user info, update password. And here I'm going to again paste the current password and I'll be giving a new password. So let me give some new password here and confirm the password. 
and that's it save the new password your password has been successfully updated let me just try to log out and let me try to log in with the new password sign in super it's working so since i have already set up a new password we can now safely remove the initial admin secret that we have in the Augur CD namespace. So let's get into the cluster. Let's try to delete the secret. So delete secret, Augur CD initial admin secret, and then the namespace. This is now gone. So we're good. All right, so here we have seen how to install Augur CD on Kubernetes on top of Docker desktop. And we also accessed the UI of Argo CD. We did a port forwarding from kubectl to access it, right? And then we have retrieved the initial admin password. We changed the password and finally deleted the initial admin password from the secret object from the Argo CD namespace. Hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget one thing. So when you want to stop the Argo CD server, all you have to do is control C. Simple. Thank you.